एफ एम सी जी फास्ट मूविंग कंज्यूमर गुड्स दिस इज़ एन एवर ग्रीन इंडस्ट्री ट्वेंटी ईयर्स बैक दिस इज़ वन इंडस्ट्री दैट यूज टू हायर इन थाउजेंड्स फ्रॉम मैनेजमेंट कॉलेजेस इट कंटिन्यूज टू बी वन इंडस्ट्री द स्टिल हायरिंग इन थाउजेंड्स इफ नॉट लैक्स ईयर ऑन ईयर अर्लियर इट यूज टू बी मोस्टली मार्केटिंग सेल्स फाइनेंस पीपल समटाइम्स ऑपरेशन इन मैनुफैक्चरिंग that join this industry but there's a new field emerging that of data analytics and there are a lot of premier management colleges that are also offering specialization in this field so i wanted to talk about today the role of data analytics in an fmcg but before we do that let's first understand what is an fmcg all about we all know fmcg makes and sells products like chocolates biscuits butter ice creams shampoos and so on it's a diverse set of basket which moves very fast from the shelves and that's why it's called an fmcg so let's understand what's an fmcg what are the different functions that make an fmcg tick firstly to start with there might be an r and d lab research and development where there will be tons of research going on experiments data coming and so on to be able to optimize several factors like consumer preferences cost etc before it goes into production then yes production is a very very big function in any fmcg in short and to give you the perspective of, of how big it is that's where 30 to 60% of total spending from the pnl of the company happens so yes there's a lot of data that comes up over there there's a lot of spending that happens over there and that's an opportunity area a big one for data analytics then let's move on to the consumer the big c out there it's very important for most fmcgs to understand who their consumer is understand the demographics understand which kind of consumers are the real consumers for their product so they can market to these consumers coming with the consumer is also the customer the person who will actually make it possible for this fmcg to land the product with the final consumer the retailer the retailers work on different kind of margins some are small some are big some buy in bulk some buy in small quantities it's very important for an fmcg to understand that behavior as well then another big chunk in an fmcg where the spending happens or what really drives the fmcg is the sales team these are large amount of people making sure they service each and every outlet in the country so it's very important over there to be able to figure out the right algorithms to measure the productivity of these people to understand what's driving their behavior what's motivating them and how can we maximize output throughput over here between the pnl line items there are several other areas like other admin overheads these companies are fairly large people are large over there so productivity at each level matters there's one more area i want to touch upon where analytics can play a huge role that's advertising huge amount of money goes into advertising advertising and this used to be a very simple line probably a decade back there used to be television there used to maybe uh, be magazines and newspapers however today you have television of course different channels by state not just one or two you have ott platforms you have influencer groups you've got your social media platforms and there's money going everywhere right and a huge amount of data is coming in most of these platforms today give you live data in terms of who saw the ad and then you want to figure out how many people after seeing the ad actually made a purchase all these areas are ripe for good data analytics there's a huge potential and scope and yes the fmcg sector is investing heavily behind data analytics tools as well as talent now what is it that can set you apart while you are at campus i would strongly rec- strongly recommend take up a few trainings take up a few live projects work with a few fmcg companies not only in analytics but get your hands dirty and really understand a day in the life of a salesman go and spend some time on the shop floor to understand what drives costs 
what drives behavior at the plant. Because once you become a data analyst or a manager managing a team of data analysts, having that extra business knowledge is what will set you apart. I can tell you that today there's so much of data available in our company that managers who are used to very high level reports don't even know the treasure that's lying beneath. They will not be able to easily scope out for you what they want. So having a good understanding of the business combined with your technical expertise is what can really set you apart from the crowd and make you a fabulous manager in the field of, field of data analytics. I hope you found whatever I spoke in today's sessions meaningful and helpful. If you have further comments or questions, drop them in the comment box. You could also separately email me at the email ID given below. Do hit subscribe if you want to hear more from Richa Corporate Diaries. Thank you so much.